so I've got my ink and I'm going to put about, I would say a dime sized blob onto my whiteboard surface. And I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to roll it into a square, kind of a square blob, if you will. It doesn't need to be, but it helps. Okay, now I'm going to roll it a little bigger. I'm trying to get my black brayer covered with ink. And I know it's the right thickness when it makes kind of a interesting sound. I'm going to be quiet so the microphone picks it up. Can you hear that sound? That's the sound you're going for. And you want it smooth like this on your whole brayer. Okay, evenly. You really want it even so you don't get weird blobs. All right, you're going to notice you've got a square that's the size of my brayer, horizontal and vertical. And after that, you're going to come in and roll your brayer, go back and forth, roll your lino cut until the ink looks even. No light, no light places. It looks like it's really even on there. Okay, lay your brayer off to the side. Now you're going to carefully line up your piece of paper, barely touch it, make sure it doesn't move, and put it in the middle of our printing press and push it down. Lift it up. Now we're going to pull it back and make sure the white paper doesn't move. You're just going to check it real quick. Do you like the print? If you like the print, I see this corner could have got a little darker. So I'm just going to press it a little more one time. Okay. Pull it off gently. And I have a way cool bus print. So do this with four pieces of paper. And after that, we are going to have to walk our station over to the sink and clean it.